Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shani, if you guys didn't know. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I maintain my brow shape. And I'm also going to be sharing some of my skincare products right now. I was trying to come up with a whole skincare routine. And I want my skin to be a certain way before I actually do a skincare routine. But I keep putting it off. If I keep putting this off, I'm never going to ever do another skincare routine. So if you guys are interested in that, please stay tuned and keep watching. But before we get into this video, y'all already know what I'm about to say. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Turn on your bell notification because sometimes YouTube really be trying it. And I also tell you guys on Snapchat and Instagram when I post a new video. So follow me on there. Now let's get into how I maintain my brows. All right, hopefully this is really quick because I have to film two other videos today, so I need to hurry up. All right, so the first thing I do is comb my brows in the way I want them to lay, just to see the length of my brows. And normally, if the hair kind of comes past this arch area, I'll cut it off. So I'm gonna show you guys. I'm using these scissors right here to cut my brows. Um, I do not know where I got this from. I probably got it from Walmart. I've had them for forever. Right here, I really hope you guys can see it, but right here, it's kind of going over my arch, so I'm just gonna cut those hairs or trim those hairs. Just like that. Do the same thing to this brow. It hasn't really grown that much, but I'm just gonna trim it a little bit, just to be sure. And then right here, you guys can kind of see some of my hair growing back. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pluck this away. And yes, this does hurt. So you guys might see my eyes get a little red. I'll just pluck it away. And I don't touch the top of my brow because every time I try to like clean up the top of my brow there's nothing really there but every time I try to like clean up the top of my brow it just makes my eyebrow look a little weird so I just don't touch the top of my brow I just clean up the arch and that's it well arch and tail I still like my brow to have like an unclean look to it but clean enough for me to do my brows so I'm just gonna clean up this area I remember when my brows used to be so thin. Like they used to look like pyramids, literally y'all. My arch was so high. Like I look back on some of my videos and I'm just like, why the heck did I do my brows like that? And then I just look from a distance to make sure they're looking how I want them to look. And then that's about it for my brows. Another thing, I don't like to touch this part of my brow because I like the front of my brow to look untouched, if that makes sense. I like it to look like, whose brows? Do I like Cassie's brows? Her brows are freaking beautiful. Cassie's brows and there's another girl, I think she used to model, but the front of her brow is like so bushy and I wish, not bushy, but it just looks untouched and natural. That's how I like the front of my brow to look. So. Yeah, I don't usually clean up this part of my brow at all. So yeah, this is my brow. Now I'm gonna take my facial spray, the Cucumber Mario Badescu spray, and I'm gonna spray it on my towel and kind of wipe my brows off because I don't want any bumps. You can do this with witch hazel or alcohol if you want to. I used to do it with peroxide just to make sure I'm getting all of the germs off to make sure I don't get bumpy under my brow. Okay, moving on to my skincare, which is really, really simple. The first thing that I use for face wash is the Body Shop Tea Tree Skin Cleanser. I use it day and night, and it really helps with like dark marks and all that good stuff. I also have another face wash that I normally use, but I'm out of it right now, so I'm just using this one. So that's why I'm only going to mention this one. I'll probably link my other face wash down below so you guys can just like have that information. But yeah, this is the one that I'm using right now. And it's really helping with the dark marks and the overall appearance of my skin without makeup. And I freaking love it. Um, if I need more of a deeper clean like to exfoliate, I'll use this little gadget right here that I got from Skin Store. You turn it on 
and it usually like vibrates but it's not doing that right now yeah I just use this if I need more of a deeper clean and I'll just put my face wash on this and clean my face and it has these little silicone brushes on it and it makes it um, more sanitary so I use this and then to moisturize my face I'll use the Palmer's cocoa butter formula and it's a really good moisturizer I've been using it for years and it hasn't done me wrong yet so <laughs> I'm still using it I do want to try some different moisturizers for my skin because I feel like my skin could probably look a little better but for right now this is what I've been using and this is what I'm going to continue to use until I find something better to moisturize my skin so this is what I use to moisturize my skin and then for serums at night I like to use this this is botanicals rose superfood facial oil I got this from skin store again so this is what I like to use at night and in the daytime and I also like to use the um where is it I think I just threw it in the trash because I ran out I don't even remember the name of it um I think it's called 100% avocado oil or almond oil or something like that i get it from sally's and it looks just like this container but a little bigger um so yeah i use that too as like an oil because i like my skin to be really really moisturized so that's the oils that i use day and night and for my dark circles i like to use the derma e dark circle reducing eye cream from derma e <laughs> and this is what i use at night up under my eyes to kind of you know make sure it's not getting too dark up under there but i don't think they're that bad you know i i think they're okay the line up under my eye this little dip right here i can't really control that unless i get like filler up under my eye and uh my best friend doesn't approve of getting filler up under here and i want to know what's in the filler what's the filler made out of like what are they injecting into your face you know what i'm saying but anyways that's what i use for my under eyes to help them not appear as dark okay and then i also like to use the mario badescu spray um in lavender at night because it's like an anti-aging type of thing when i was getting this one of the ulta employees told me that he likes to use this at night um and it's good for aging skin so i was like ooh, i could just use it at night because it makes sense you know it's lavender makes you sleepy makes you relax and sometimes i use it when i'm doing my makeup and i also use the mario badescu rose water as well because i find this to be really moisturizing as well and then for chapstick i like to use the classic all-purpose salves rose extract and i think that is it for my skincare routine and how i maintain my brows i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and give me a thumbs up comment down below and also subscribe to my channel for more videos from me and i will see you guys in my next upload